On today's show, find out where you can feed longhorns, pet llamas, and dance the night away, plus lots more. Let's get to it. It's time to plan your South Texas wedding with Bridal Buzz. Hi, Bridal Babes. We are on location at Harper Hill Ranch, and I'm super excited because I am with Amy. She's the owner of Harper Hill Ranch, and I know the backdrop is beautiful already, but there's going to be so much more that we're about to talk about, so get ready. Hi, Amy. Hi, Erica. How are you? I'm doing great. So talk to us about Harper Hill Ranch. I want to kind of know, it's a very new venue, right? Yes. So tell me how it got started, how you decided, all that okay. stuff. Yeah. So. Um, we've been open almost two years. It'll be two years in October. Mm -hmm. And my husband and I found the listing actually on Instagram. It was <laughs> basically a home for sale mm -hmm. with a lot of acreage. And I came out here and I saw the barn and I thought, wow, we can really do something with this barn and we can make it a great event center for this area. Right. Um, at the beginning, I wasn't thinking weddings, but it's been about 90% weddings and we just really love it. Yeah, so. and I love it because it's beautiful. I mean, like you said, it started off as a barn, but you've pretty much redone everything. You've even yes. added stuff. I exactly. Mean, it, like a it was a horse barn. There were dirt floors in here, horse stalls, open air. We spent about 10 months renovating it. Mm -hmm. um, we added a lot on, poured concrete, redid the entire interior, mm -hmm. added air conditioning, stained glass, <laughs> chandeliers. Yeah. yeah, everything's beautiful. And I, I know that our viewers are gonna be able to see that stained glass, but I, I'm dying for them to be able to see it. What kind of theme or style, like what kind of weddings is this perfect for? I think that it's pretty versatile here. We have the whitewashed walls where you can kind of do anything that you want with it. We have the stained glass and the chandeliers that kind of kick it up a notch. So mm -hmm. it's not just like your country setting. We would say it's a little more chic than mm -hmm. that, um, kind of the upscale barn. And right. you're not gonna get hot in here because we do have the air conditioning or cold in the winter. Um, with that said, we also, we see a lot of boho, um, people that like the space out here oh, okay, or who cool. just like the country itself. Yeah, because it's in the hill country, right? So yes. like that, those beautiful views. I mean, just driving up, I got to see like a beautiful field. I literally told Todd, our producer, like, listeners, like, this is this is beautiful because you could literally picture a bride just like spinning in the meadow. Yes. <laughs> like, it's so beautiful out here. And something else that makes Harper Hill Ranch so great are like, you guys have an animal, like petting zoo? Yes, so. <laughs> Talk to us about that. Um, we first started off with some mini donkeys. We mm -hmm. have three mini donkeys named Louis Vuitton, Prince Henry, and Mr. Big. And then... Um, those names are chic. I'm so sorry yes. to interrupt, but those names in themselves <laughs> are like really chic names. They go with the place. So, um, <laughs> we acquired some longhorns for our ag exemption. We mm -hmm. started with cows, but we liked the big longhorns better. Mm -hmm. um, we're up to eight right now, and two of our females are pregnant. Wow. And then within the last couple of weeks, we actually purchased some llamas. Yeah. So we have two male llamas, <laughs> Cash, named after Johnny Cash, and Carbon. I'm super excited about meeting them. I want, I'm dying to meet <laughs> they're them. They're a lot of fun, and they're very popular with the guests. Of course. Speaking of the guests, how many guests can this venue accommodate? So in normal circumstances, our capacity is 200. Mm -hmm. um, we see a lot of weddings around 1, 150 is um, usually the most comfortable in here. Mm -hmm. And as far as like a couple of hiring vendors, are, I mean, are they restricted? Are they free to hire whoever they want? We try to be as flexible as possible when it comes to vendors. We have restricted our bartending. We have five companies that we vetted and they're mm -hmm. approved to do bartending. Um, if they do hire a caterer that can offer bartending and they're properly insured, then we'll let them we'll let the catering do the bartending as well. Yeah. But other than that, we have a preferred vendors list of great vendors from Austin to San Antonio that we've worked with that we give them a place to start with. And you mentioned from Austin to San Antonio, so you get brides from basically both of those areas then? Yes, we do. And we actually, we get um, people from um, down south, like Harlingen, oh. Galveston, um, and we, we have Dallas Brides as well, so we get them all over in Texas. Right. I want to touch on how if you do end up getting a really great catering company and you're excited about this food, then you, you can ensure that the food's going to be kept warm and at perfect temperatures because you guys have like an on-site 
caterer kitchen or what do you call it? Yes, so we call it a catering kitchen. Mm -hmm. They can't actually cook on site, mm -hmm. but um, they can either do their cooking beforehand and bring it in warmers, mm -hmm. or they can do a mobile kitchen outside. Perfect. Caterer has their own separate entrance, their own little parking lot and space out there. So we try to you know, make it um, a good space for them to work in. Great, and then earlier, I also stuck on this, but you said that literally brides from everywhere are coming in. Mm -hmm. So as far as like guest accommodations, can you do that here as well? Yes, that's one of the things that sets us apart uh, mm -hmm. from other venues in the area. We do have on-site accommodations, this beautiful ranch house that I actually fell in love with on the property, which made me purchase the property. <laughs> um, it dates back to the 1880s. And wow. um, the previous owner, they restored the original house and then doubled the size of it. We went in, decorated, and furnished, and it now sleeps 27 people. Wow, 27. Yes. And there's activities in there too, right? Yes. Yeah, so we have a, a TV room with a giant screen in there. We have a couple game rooms. Mm -hmm. um, outside, we have a beautiful swimming pool, yeah. an outdoor kitchen area. We have a basketball court, volleyball court. Wow. So there's a lot to do while you're here. Yeah, and you can, you can basically rent the space. I know your packages kind of speaks on that. So how long can the couple rent the space for? I mean, if they do the guest accommodations, mm -hmm. what do the packages look like? So our most popular package is called our diamond package, mm -hmm. and that's our full weekend. So normally, wedding would be on Saturday, guests would come, the, the wedding, not the wedding guests, but the um, bride and groom and their family would check in on Friday at noon, mm -hmm. and they could do rehearsal, have rehearsal dinner on site, then Saturday they get up, relax, get ready for the wedding, get married, spend the night again, and then leave on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Though we do have people who add on extra nights as well and make it kind of a family reunion because you get a lot of family yeah. coming in for weddings. Definitely. Yes, but we have um, three packages. We have the barn only, which we rent usually normally just during the week. Mm -hmm. And then on the weekend, you can do one or two nights in the house. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted to highlight that your bride and groom's quarters are very beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so talk to me about like what went into the idea, what inspired like just making sure that they had a good space. Um, well, as a, a woman, uh, <laughs> I know how important mirrors and lighting are, especially on your big day and you want to mm -hmm. look beautiful. So we tried to just put some special touches in there to make sure that the bride had everything that she needed. And then a lot of times the guys get looked over and we had this great space upstairs, second story of the barn, mm -hmm. and we made it into the groom suite and they have pool, shuffleboard, PlayStation, <laughs> there's a kitchenette up there and there's actually a bedroom too. Oh wow, yeah. that's really so we cool. We didn't want to forget about them. So you can do ceremonies here as well as the reception. Yes. You can basically just do everything here. Yes. Um, you guys have this really cool like circle where the ceremony would take place. What is that called? Tell me about we call, that. So it's actually an old hay feeder. Okay. It's a giant 10 foot metal circle that we modified so mm -hmm. it can stand up on end. And most of our ceremonies take out take place outside in front of the barn. Mm -hmm. They can decorate that with flowers or linen or anything that they'd like to put on there. We also have a really neat wooden hexagon that mm -hmm. we acquired from one of our brides after oh. her wedding. And people have fallen in love with that as well. So they can use either one of those and that's included. So how did you decide to name the ranch Harper Hill Ranch? We actually hired um, a firm to help us with our whole identity. Um, creating the logo and picking the name and um, ultimately what we decided on was to use a family name as well as describe where we're located mm -hmm. so if you come up on the property the venue itself is up on a hill and oh. then the harper comes from my husband's side of the family we have kind of a long um, not so fun last name. So we took one of his family names, Harper, and it became Harper Hill Ranch uh -huh. um, because we you know, knew that we were gonna have animals and stuff like that. So we decided to name it after a ranch as well. So I know that we use this space for weddings and that's why we're here and talking about weddings, but this can also be used for a lot of other stuff too. Yes. Has it been used for anything else? It has. We've done um, some fashion shows. Oh. We've had, yes, we had. I was not expecting to hear fashion show. Yes, the um, Education Foundation in San Marcos, we had a, oh, a fashion cool. show fundraiser for them. Mm -hmm. 
We have had some family reunions, a project graduation mm -hmm. for a smaller school district, oh, cool. um, and just lots of different types of events. And how is it looking for booking as far as booking goes? Should we, the brides be jumping on the opportunity now? Yes. So <laughs> with everything happening in 2020, we're still having weddings. We're open for business, but we have almost completely booked 2021. Um, all Saturdays are taken except for two in January. Oh, wow. And so, you know, we're seeing how flexible brides are if they want to have something during the week. And we've also already opened up the 2022 calendar so we can accommodate um, others who, you know, have their hearts set on a certain time of year mm -hmm. or a Saturday. And we are, for a short period of time, go ahead and booking those at our 2021 prices. Cool. I remember, I'm thinking about the where right now where you said that the bride left behind like the hexagon. Mm -hmm. So that kind of speaks to me that that means the bride really liked it, right? I mean, she must have had a great experience that she gifted y'all or left behind this uh, hexagon. Is Do you get that a lot? Do you get that couples are very happy with what, what happened on the day of? Yes, um, we've had just wonderful couples that are getting married out here and that they've been very gracious and thankful for um, the space that we've created. Mm -hmm. And we feel super blessed by having them as um, couples getting out here, choosing us to get married because there's so many places out in this area that are beautiful that they could choose. Um, so we really try to go the extra step and do things that make them feel um, very happy about choosing us. Mm -hmm. um, we are family owned. I'm the primary operator of the business. I was just business. about to ask. So when they're reaching yes. out to try and rent the space, it's you. They're contacting me. Mm -hmm. So if you're um, emailing me from the website or calling, I'm answering the phone. Mm -hmm. And I love to have that first touch with any couples mm -hmm. that are gonna come out here and look at the space. So I'm almost always doing the tours. I do have another person that works with me, also named Amy. <laughs> <laughs> and um, she will do them if I'm not available, and she helps with weddings as well. Cool. But I really just love getting to know all the couples and just going that extra mile for them and making sure that it's everything that they want it to be. How can they reach you if they want to be a part of this, be a part of Harper Hill Ranch? They want to book y'all. So um, my email is amy, A-M-Y, at harperhillranch.com. Mm -hmm. They can also reach me at 512-214-1614. And that is a cell phone, so they can call or text. I know people like to text a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, we have a website, harperhillranch.com. And we're also on Instagram and Facebook at Harper Hill Ranch. Very easy, very to the point. So yeah. you're not difficult to find. Yes. <laughs> um, I guess that basically wraps everything up for us. Amy, is there any like last words of advice or something that you really want to share uh, on Bridal Buzz? Um, I would just say with everything going on right now, um, I encourage couples to just keep going on planning and, and get married. And we never know what the future is going to hold. So. I think um, it's just a great time to go ahead and and plan your dreams and go with it and not worry about how many people can come or, um, you know, we have great safety procedures in place. The state of Texas is doing a great job taking care of us and we're good about following rules. So. Okay, Amy, that about wraps everything up. Remember, Bridal Buzz listeners, the fun doesn't have to stop. Subscribe to our podcast, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media, follow Harper Hill Ranch. I love everything they're putting out. You're going to die once you see those stained glass windows. They're absolutely beautiful. And that's, that's it for our show. So, Amy, go ahead and look at this camera and wave. Bye. Bye. Want to be a guest on our show? Just visit SanAntonioWeddings.com and click on Bridal Buzz. We'd love to hear from you.